So here's something for all you iPhone users looking to enhance your photos and videos. It's called the iSupport Pro. Basically what this is is a casing that goes around your iPhone or your iPhone is inserted in the back here. And it allows you to mount a 37 millimeter lens, an LED light, and in this case a tabletop tripod. This is the whole setup. Now I'm going to show you how to disassemble it. I actually was surprised that it worked with this. Um, it doesn't work great, but it still fits in there and it's kind of cool. So this is where your power cable would plug into. This right here is where the headphone jack goes or the microphone input goes. Uh, you have access to your power button. It doesn't have the same type of tight fit that the iPhone 4S has. So I'm going to just show you how you take it out. So it's a spring loaded clip here. You just loosen this and it pops right out. This is what the iSupport Pro comes with. It comes with this handle. This is the actual casing itself. It's the size of your hand and it's about seven ounces, which is about less than half of a pound. So with the iSupport Pro, you have three screws from the base so for your monopod or your tripod. With the handle here, you can't really use, it'll just bump up against the edge. You can't use the center one in your fingers can't get through. So my advice is to use the one that's right here. As you can see, this is enough finger room for both hands to do what you need to do. If you notice, it swings back and forth it, and it's stable. Don't get me wrong. It's totally stable. What I did is put this screw in it gives me a nice little pause here. When I'm shooting, what I like to do is I like to keep my thumb here. This is where the stopper is. And you know, if I'm pressing any buttons or anything, it's not going anywhere. This whole little circular thing here is plastic. It's glued in and it's stable. All of this is metal. Well, this is rubber right here, but this part right here is plastic. Now this plastic is where the, the lens threads into. Do not try to screw anything up here. This is an obstruction. You could have a situation where this could pop off. My advice is just use the one on the side here. You can mount a microphone, you can mount a, a light or whatever else you want. I think this is a really awesome product and I only like to promote and talk about products that I use or feel that can be useful to somebody. If you're a serious iPhoneographer or iPhone user, this is the accessory to have if you want stability and you want to add other accessories to your iPhone to enhance it. Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Anderson over here at Trinity Fix MG. Today we're going to show you what the black box is. If you guys saw the little promo video of the black box chasing me through the abandoned uh, houses, probably have said, what the heck is that? Well, this is what it is. It is an accessory that I came up with to help me do, to help me film myself uh, on locations and I don't need anybody else because a lot of times it's hard when you're doing something to have a friend come over or pay someone to film you do documentaries or to do videos on uh, whatever it is you want to do videos on and like in this case we are in the middle of the jungle and if you have a lot of equipment in an area like this it's really hard to get through this jungle you guys can't see the floor but it's just littered with all kind of uh, debris from the trees so this works out perfect for those situations my main problem of the iPhone filming or any any camera at that is trying to see the back of the screen in the in the sunlight the sunlight would shine on it and you can barely see it so I wanted to come up with a sunshade and that's what this black box is once I started making the sunshade I decided 
wouldn't it be perfect to mount accessories to this? Because when you have an iPhone, you can't mount anything to it. You can't mount a light to it. You can't mount a boom mic or anything. So I decided to make some mounting holes for the light and for the boom mic. And my other issue that I had was when I'm standing in front of the camera, how am I going to frame myself up? Because the iPhone doesn't have a flip around screen. So what I decided to do was I mounted my monitor, I think it's a six or seven inch monitor to here, and it worked perfect, but extra weight, extra equipment, uh, batteries, cables. I said, I wanna eliminate that. So I came up with using an accessory arm that you can buy at B&H Photo and mounting a mirror to it. And I don't know if you can see from there, but the mirror displays the screen. So when you're standing in front, you look at the mirror to see if you're in frame and you're good to go. Uh, what you could do is um, frame yourself up, put a rock on the ground, come back, press record, or just press record and then, you know, figure out where you need to stand. But we're going to do other tutorials on actually how to use the black box and in what scenarios it's best for. Right now, just kind of showing you what it is. And in a rundown, that's what it is. And let me show you the, the back here. This is the back of it. The back of the black box. You can see the iPhone in there. I use an app called Filmic Pro. I have a tutorial on that too, how to get the best shot with uh, your iPhone and Filmic Pro. And there you go. Again, this is for people who want to film themselves. They're out in the wilderness, in the jungle, or even if you just like to do uh, fun YouTube videos and you're in your house and not every room has good lighting, well, you don't have to just pick rooms with good lighting anymore. You go to any room you want, turn on your light, and you know, you're good to go. You've got adequate lighting, you've got great sound, and you can see yourself on the back there. So that's about it for the black box. Um, stay tuned in the next couple weeks. I'm going to show tutorials on how I made the black box. I'll show tutorials on how to use the black box. Like right now, I'm filming on my T3i, so I'm not really showing you how to set it up, but I think you got a good idea. But we'll go into those issues too. And that's about it. So if you someone who films himself, it's a great tool. My name is Aaron Anderson at Trinity Effects MG. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Vimeo channel, and leave some comments too if you have any questions on this thing. So we'll talk to you guys later. Until next time, bye guys.